Undercover Carson, secret agent. Operation Death Ray, an assignment in Rio. Charco had the death ray. Thanks to his own lust for power, the help of Commander Julius Grant and the former Sally Bruin, and the treachery of someone else in Rio. But it was a long hop from Rio to the spot where he'd set up his fiendish weapon, deep in the wilds of South America, close by the air route between La Paz, Bolivia, and Buenos Aires in the Argentine. To demonstrate his power to the world, Charco had sent three airliners crashing in flames, then the search planes, then the fighters that followed. But with the aid of one of my pipes, Faye Corelli, young Angelo and I managed to escape from the camouflaged ruins where Chaco had established himself. We were several miles away, in the lee of a jungle-clad ridge, but not yet beyond the reach of the death ray. Senator Carson, the flames and the tumbling of the red-hot rock comes this way. Yes, don't I know it. Oh, Monsieur Bruce, you go so fast. I'm sorry, Faye, but we've got to get clear. Charco's got the ray up at full blast, and it's practically pulverizing the mountaintops. He has discovered his young wife, perhaps. Yes, more than likely. And can she tell him that we escaped? So. Well, then you should take notice of me. You should have let Angelo kill her. Well, they'd still find out quick enough that we'd flown. But we mustn't slow up. How oh, about these thin branches? They are so cruel. We must get to the bottom of the ravine, then up the other side of it. Senor. Huh? What now? The flame. Look, it leaps towards us. Great Lucifer, yes. Monsieur Bruce. Faster, Faye, faster. Uh, it's starting to crumble the rock right overhead. Too late. The rock is falling upon us. Falling upon us. Ah! Oh, it is the end. The end. It did seem rather like the end of the world for a moment there. Eh? Now, Shadow. I, I recover, Senor. But I now, never... calm down, my dear. Calm down. See? The ray's a long way off now. But it come back. And it injured the other leg. Leg? My left leg. I, I cannot move it. Let's see. Oh. It's a lovely leg, you know. But no good to me now. Never again am I able to dance. No, no bones broken, fair. But it feel all, all doubled up. A bad sprain. You'll dance again. Never fear. You just... Stay there. Oh, oh. oh, look at me. I cannot rise up upon my feet. Oh, how we walk the two days to Musenegal Seaplane. Now, now, now. Don't rush all the hurdles at once. <laughs> Just let's rest a while. <laughs> Collect thoughts. I have the most terrible thoughts. I not think that Musenegal they are waiting when we arrive. Now, that'll be enough, Faye. Eh? I not know why I get mixed up in all this. Erase, Anor. Hmm? What about it? I think... See... It swing back this way. Oh, now we never escape. Quiet, Fred. <laughs> yes, you're right, Angela. We must move again, Senor. So. What about me? I'll carry you. Now you take her shoulders, Angela. See, si, Senor. I'll handle the legs, like so. Oh, huh? what's your It's going to hurt, my dear, but it can't be helped. Oh, the tumbling rocks are falling almost above us. Oh, leave me. Run for your own life. Leave you, Faye? Nonsense. I'm not one to leave now that they cannot dance anymore. In a moment, everything... Senor! The rumbling stopped. Yeah, the rumbling stopped, perhaps, but not us. What the deuce? What caused the great explosion, Monsieur Bruce? It's quite some distance from here. Senor, look, rising into the sky. By Jove, there's a great tower of smoke and rubble. I wonder, could this be... Angelo, we'll drop Mademoiselle Corelli here for a moment. Very well, Senor. Ah, there we are. Oh, there what, we are, my dear. What, what do you wonder? What all this about? I'll tell you when we get back. Where are you going? You're not deserting no, me. No, as if I would. Now we're going up to the top of the ridge. Come along, Angelo. After the long rumbling of the ray, the falling of the rock, crashing of the underbrush, the world seemed strangely peaceful. But it was a spectacle more frightening than ever that greeted us as we clambered through broken jungle and shattered rock to the top of the ridge. All around was desolation, scorched earth, the grey ash of jungle. And away over where Chaco had set up his headquarters, there was a gaping hole and a pall of smoke and dust. The place of the man of darkness, Senor, 
He's no more. No, Shadow. The death ray has blown up and everything with it. And the good spirits indeed come to our aid. And the aid of countless innocent people, it seems. But this was what Julius Grant meant when he warned Chaco not to try the ray at full power. Uh, but this Chaco is determined, eh, Senor? Uh, no doubt he was prepared to take a risk to prevent our escape. And all this harks back to the dying words of the Cossack, one of the scientists who shared this secret of the frightful weapon. Uh, I am not at his side at the time, Senor. No, you weren't. Well, he was the chappy who knew how much power was to be applied to get best results. Charco forced this information from him, then double-crossed him by killing him. With the poisoned dart. So. But it seems that the Cossack did a little double-crossing in his own way. That's where his dying words came in. He said that he told Charco everything, but perhaps too much. Yeah, it didn't mean anything to me until now. Then we have reason to honor the memory of this man. We have. You and I and so many others. Ah, but it's obviously no use going back there. Nothing left of the place. This Chaco, the commander, and the young woman of treachery. No one could have survived that blast. No one in a very wide radius. Then we continue on to unite ourselves with Senor Nagel. I'm afraid Mademoiselle Corelli is in no fit state for the hike. I think of that, Senor. I go alone to find Senor Nagel and return with him, maybe. And with the death ray gone, you'll be able to make much faster time. Indeed, I take the shortest route. All right, old chap. I'll wait here with Faye. And let's trust your good spirits have been keeping friend Nagel to his part of the bargain. Oh. Legs still playing up, Faye? It's still so. I think I never dance again. Now, Faye, no more of that. Won't have it. You will dance. And just as divinely as ever. <laughs> you are a great one for putting on the gay face, Monsieur Bruce. <laughs> Always feel gay when you're around, my dear. No matter where or when. But in your heart, you have the doubt. Doubt? Concerning Monsieur Nagel. Now, Faye... I know that Angelo must reach him first, but already it is more than a day. So, but uh, they must get back here. I have no faith in Monsieur Nagel. He's selling himself too easy to so many. Mm, he does seem to have worked with all and sundry. But when he makes a promise, he appears to keep it. For a man in your occupation, you're much too trusting. <laughs> as far as you've been concerned in the past, my dear, I'm afraid so. As however, I'm rather gathered that Nagel was dead keen to get even with Chaco. To the death ray get even with that hateful person. Mm, true, but to go back a bit. You yourself mentioned that Chaco and Nagel had argued when he brought you all out here. Oui, and it is over me that they argue. Hmm. Well, it'll be interesting to hear the story behind it. If ever you see Monsieur Nagel again... Oh, I mustn't give up, my dear. Just take things easy. No Copacabana apartment here, but let's make the best of it. Monsieur Bruce, wake up! Wake up! Mm, go easy, my dear. Oh, wake up for Monsieur Bruce. Oh, wake up. Oh, oh here we are. Oh, but why did you do it, Fay? I was dreaming you and Listen. I. Listen! Were... Huh? The plane! Why the blazes didn't you tell me? Well, let's see now. Another search plane? Or... No! No! It's Nagel! Monsieur Herman! So! Ah, but quick, let's get out in the open and wave to him. Who said he wasn't to be trusted? <laughs> It was Nagel, all right, and Angela was there in the cabin with him. They came down as low as possible, circling and dipping the wings. Then a message came plummeting down in a tight white ball, but Nagel had to repeat it twice before we managed to rescue it out of the jungle. He said that he was coming down on a waterway much nearer us, the one used when he had brought Charco to the end of his search. So Faye and I waited, and towards dusk, Nagel and Angelo arrived with food, warm drinks, and a light stretcher to carry Faye. The following morning, we were returning to Rio. And unfinished business. Ah, well, Nagel, old chap, if anyone wants to build a death ray, they'll have to start from scratch. Yeah, I guess so. In the development of modern weapons, most nations seem to have been bewitched by the atom and the effects of shattering it. But there were other fields. Chaco all but came out master. Or have you other views? I got no views that amount to much, Carson. Oh, well... But the uh, search planes and fighters, they stopped coming out here very abruptly. I picked up Y on the radio. The area was declared taboo until an international commission figured out what was going on. 
Uh, have they any idea? I guess they must have a notion, seeing that some pilot sent back some mighty hair-raising accounts. That's before they collected the ray themselves. Uh, shocking business. But I'll see that the commission gets the full facts. I guess you're thinking it's all over bar the shining, huh? Uh, on the contrary. A number of loose ends to be cleared up. The full ramifications of the opposition, for instance. Yeah. You, uh, can't assist in that respect? Nope, Carson. Like always, I'm keeping neutral. Yeah, but old chap, I can't understand why you suddenly went against Chaco. I'm for hire, Carson. At least I was, by the first comer. So, but, uh, seems you had a difference with Chaco. What do you mean? Now, uh, put cards on the table. Fakarelli said you'd been arguing with him. And she rather suspected it concerned her own sweet self. All right, I just didn't like Chaco's game. He was taking her to his hideout, but no matter which way things went, he decided it was a one-way ride for him. Hmm. So you objected to such uh, heartlessness? I got no heart, Carson. Now let me pilot this plane, will you? Get back out to the rear cabin and hold the dame's hand. I guess I wish I had your chances. Rio, we're down. Uh, we owe you a great deal, Nagel. You owe me nothing more than the $5,000 that you handed over for the job. And you've two and a half thousand to pick up from your locker in the jetty over there. Sure, sure. I'm taking you and the dame and the new man Friday ashore. I'm picking up the money. And then I'm getting out of here fast. This is the end for me in these parts. Well, old chap, might I wish you good luck in the future? Thanks, but give me a chance, will you? By all means. You know, there's room on this crate for you, Carson. Huh? What's all this about? I'm offering you a way to save your neck. Save my neck? Mm-hmm. Oh, Jeff, I, I told you. I've unfinished business in Rio. And so have other people. They'll be waiting there to finish you. You go ashore, Carson, and the way I see it, you don't leave Rio alive. <laughs> Yes, there was unfinished business. Chaco had a stool pigeon, as the saying is, in the lovely city of Rio. But until I discovered that person or persons, then I hadn't finished my task in Operation Death Ray.